In this tutorial, I want to show you the power of the what you see is what you get editor that is built into Web Content Studio. Now, as you can see, we're over here on the editor tab, and this big white box is basically the what you see is what you get editor. You've also got options to view and edit the source code and uh, view the plain text of the article. Now, there's a few things you can do here. You can begin typing, and you can type in a header followed by your content, and then you can format your article. And as you see, as you format the article, the changes appear in the editor. What you see here is what you get when you export. You've got options up here for working with tables, uh, images, URLs, bullet points. You can change this into a bullet point, for example, or a numbered list, which you can type. So it's fairly intuitive. You can use the other buttons here for other different bits of formatting. You can print preview. You can save. You can save as if you want to save a copy. You can align text. You can highlight stuff. Let's say you want to highlight that. Um, highlight it yellow. Then we've got highlights there. We can change text color. You can bold, italics, pretty much anything that you can do with a normal editor. You can set um, normal is basically for normal paragraphs and then the six headers here. You will see other things appear there. If you um, move your mouse over something, for example, this one, it tells you you're in a numbered list. That's not available in the drop-down list, but you can see the numbered list icon. The button there is, is highlighted. So basically this editor will, will allow you to create your content exactly as you want to show it on your final website. So that's the first thing you can do. The, another thing you can do if you want to is you can open up a URL from the web. Now, let's just type in a URL of my website and basically that then will load into the viewer here. So there's the website there. That means that you can load in any URL from the web and analyze it with your theme words and theme phrases. Notice that some web pages may have a problem with this. If they're, if they're heavily using certain scripts or unusual stuff, then you may have a problem. But standard uh, web pages, this one is a WordPress blog, standard web pages should load up just fine. Okay, the other thing you could do is you could load from a file on your hard drive. Now that could be a web page with an HTML extension, or it could be a, a text file from a, from a ghostwriter, for example. Now, text files need to have a TXT extension if they're going to be treated as text files. If you try to import a text file that does not have a TXT extension, then it's not going to import as you expect it to. So please, if you're going to import text files from ghostwriters, get them to use a TXT extension. And also, if you're importing a text file from the hard drive, then make sure that this uh, content here in the, in the editor is empty because otherwise it will just be appended to wherever. So the first thing I'm going to do is just control A to highlight and delete. And we can now open up the text file. And you can see it's there formatted where uh, line breaks in the original text file are still here. You can see the paragraph tags that are placed around the paragraphs. So if you want to load text files, you can. If you want to type from scratch, you can. And basically, it's just a case of formatting your article however you want. Let's make that an H1. And then we might want to make that an H2, and so on. Now, let's just suppose we're going to type an article from scratch. If we've done some research with the researcher module and we've got stuff on our scratch pad, then we can open up a pop-up scratch pad here, which you can move around your screen, you can minimize it if you want to, and you can use that information now. It stays on the top all the time, so you can put it to one side, and you could just then start typing away as you're reading your notes, and you are free then to delete bits of your notes as you cover those bits. So the scratch pad can help you to keep focused on the important topics within your article. One of the other features in the editor screen is the article templates. And basically Web Content Studio comes with two templates, one for general information article and one for a product review. 
and you can add your own templates. But the idea is simple. It's, it's a way of getting you structured in your article writing. So for example, um, in this particular article template, we have an H1 header. Let's just decrease this so we can actually see a bit more information. We have an H1 header where you enter the title of an article, followed by a paragraph that introduces the problems and issues associated with the topic of the article, then bullet list, paragraph, and so on. If we have a look at the other product review, you can see that those are slightly different. And you can define headers, numbered lists, bullet lists, and paragraphs for those. So let's just take the general information article. If we go over to the Create Skeleton article, and we can send it directly to the HTML ed editor, and what it's done is it's created a skeleton article for us, and all we then have to do is go over here and type your header for the article here. Then this one says introduce the problems, issues, or topics of the, um, this article addresses. So you would type in a paragraph about that, and then enter top three facts. You could edit this for fact number one and so on, and then you, you, you follow the instructions. So the article templates basically are a way to keep you structured to tell you exactly what you need to do. Let's have a look at the other one. Here's the product review. You'd enter a title for the product review, and then what problems faced by your visitors that this pro product can solve. Again, you just replace these sentences, these paragraphs, with a description that answers this particular question. So the article templates can help you quickly create content and you're able to create your own article templates quite easily. So if you have your own structure or, or ideas on how you want to structure various types of articles like top 10 facts or, or something like that, then you can enter them here and get a head start on creating that article. Now when your article is complete, you've then got access to the reports here you can check your keywords, theme reports, keyword maps, and so on. But that, the reports features are in a different tutorial. And the last thing, really, just to mention here, is that although this is a what you see is what you get editor, and you're, you don't have to know any HTML, if you want to get in there and do HTML, you can flip over to the source tab. The plain text tab is just for information. You can't actually edit this. But the source tab, you can edit. So you could, for example, insert a header or a title here and save it and then that header is then or well, that title rather is then saved there you could also insert meta tags this button over here you can't see it because it's just gone off the side In it will allow you to create meta tags meta description uh, meta keywords and also a style sheet link but again that's for another tutorial so the what you see is what you get editor is great for not having to know any html and you can create your whole article in there, and when you're finished, you then have export options. The options you've got are you can export it to an HTML file where it will export just the article. In other words, if you want to paste the article into a template in Dreamweaver or Excite Pro or some other software, then you can create a file or these features are duplicated to clipboard. You can copy to the clipboard the article HTML and then just paste it directly into your HTML editor. If you're, for example, opening up here um, a template that you're using on your HTML site and you're just adding the content into the template, then chances are you'll probably want to export the full HTML. That will include any title tags, meta keyword descriptions, in other words, the header section of the article, as well as the whole body of the, of the web page. You can export the text as a simple text file or you can edit, uh, export the text as what you see is what you get editor. And basically what happens if you export to what you see is what you get editor is it will copy, there we go, the entire contents there. And that you can paste directly into the dashboard HTML section of a WordPress blog. You can paste it directly into a lot of HTML editors. You can paste it directly into Windows Live Writer. And in each case, the formatting, the hyperlinks, etc., will all be preserved.